All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal, they also asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled A Duplicitous Culture. Was well, gonna be society, but that video just got scrapped out of the blue. Whatever. To be duplicitous is to be deceitful, okay? Uh, if you're a duplicitous person, you're a person who says one thing and you do another. Um, but our culture in America is duplicitous. And to a degree, we see nothing wrong with that. You know, if it suits you business-wise, you can be a liar. But then you'll go to church and be a Christian in the same week. So you'll do something deceitful on, on Monday that benefits you on Tuesday and go to church on Sunday and say everything is forgiven. That's a duplicitous culture. Um, when you think about, like, part of this was, was listening to uh, the, the Giants GM talking about, you know, we paid Odell. And we, 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 I wouldn't have signed him to just trade him. And then you traded him, like, not that long afterwards, right? And so nobody's really taking his word. You know, we're not looking for a quarterback in the draft. Man, shut up. You know, you, you, you've lied so many times to the point where people assume that you're being duplicitous. And the interesting thing is this. It's not that... He's considered a liar because he is a liar. It's not that he's considered uh, uh, full of it because he is considered full of it. It's that people felt like, man, you got to be better at this to be in your position. Because in this culture, you have to be good at being duplicitous. That, that, to be successful, you have to be good at being duplicitous. You have to be good at saying one thing and doing another. You know, never let your... your, your your, your left hand know what your right hand's doing. Even though you're, so, you're on the same body, that means you you lying to your damn self. But whatever. Uh, but it's duplicitous. In a military sense. We're, we're peacekeepers. Showing up. Armed to the nines. You know. Shooting, killing, blowing up stuff. To keep the peace. That's duplicitous, you know. Um, this country has this weird way of thinking that everything is all good as long as you get paid for it, you know. Oh man, as you know, as long as you got some money out of it, you know, it's all right. But here's the flip side. See, if you feel like you got ahead by being duplicitous, it was a good move. It was a smart move. It was a business move. But few people look at it as a smart move, as a good move or a business move if somebody lies to you to get ahead. And this is the interesting part about our culture. You know, we could uh, uh, lie to people. We could manipulate people. We could use people. We can be opportunists. And that's all good as long as it benefits us. But then all of a sudden, if that same, uh, if that same mode of operation is put in towards you, oh, it's unfair. It's ungodly. You know, it's wrong. Which is part of our duplicitous culture. It's only wrong if it's done to you, right? Interesting. Nobody wants to, you know. Part of the reason why, you know, the government hates China. Oh, look at what they're doing. They're selling us goods and services at bargain-based prices, and they're trampling over the economy. But you, the America was doing the same thing economically and sanctioning other countries for decades. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. When it was benefiting the country, this country, it was okay. Oh, but now when people use... You know, our tactics against us as a country economically. Oh, uh, how dare they? This is this is part of our culture, you know. Um, do as I say, 
not as I do. See, that goes into parenting. Duplicitous parenting. You know, it's okay. You know, don't you ever. <laughs> you know, parents used to say, don't you ever do drugs. I'm seeing my folks do drugs. <laughs> don't you ever do this. God damn, I'm high. Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But this is how we want to operate. You know, you want to play both sides of the fence. And, then, and be looked at as loyal. <laughs> you know, you but but here's the, the irony about that. You you want to play both sides of the fence and be looked at as loyal, but then turn around and say, I'm loyal to myself, though. Okay. And the reason I bring this up is because what winds up happening is people like being opportunists, but they don't like being viewed as an opportunist. Because part of being duplicitous is being able to present yourself as one thing when you're something else. So you don't want to be seen as deceitful, but you want to be deceitful. So you want to dress like an angel and be the devil. But under, you know, biblical reference, that's the, the devil is an angel, right? And here's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to even use that, go a little further with that. Um... To a degree, what's going on is, see, the devil knows the difference between good and evil. Good, you know, right and wrong. So, the devil doesn't lie to himself like, I don't know that I'm doing some evil stuff. <laughs> I don't know that this is wrong. No, but see, that's what we as a society do. You know, we doing something dead wrong. We know it's dead wrong. Oh, but if we get in the way with it, oh, man, it's exhilarating. But then if you get caught doing it and you got to pay the price, oh, I, I didn't know. Uh, uh, I don't understand. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. You, now you want to be taken as you, you, you're, you're unintelligent. Oh, okay, you, you was a mastermind when you was doing all that dirt, that dirt you was doing. But now you're retarded when you're about to get caught. Understood. This is what I mean by duplicitous culture, you know. And the reason I, 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 I say it in that way is this. Because if you're a liar and you get viewed as a liar, then it's like, ah, uh, uh, what am I supposed to do? If, you, if, you're, if you're a cheater and then you get viewed as, as a cheater, then it's like, ah, uh, what's the, what am I going to do? If, you, if you are manipulative and people... View you as manipulative. Then it's, ah, what am I supposed to do? You don't, see, our culture does not, you know, doesn't want us to sit and lay in the bed that we made. You know, in life, it's about karma. You, you put good out there, you get good back. You put bad out there, you get bad back. You reap what you sow, you know. And if you look at American culture, you only want to reap what you sow if it benefits you. See, you got so many people that say, you know, um, when things are going good, God is blessing them. And, and, and that may be true. You might have done something great in your past and you've built up enough um, life equity to get blessed. But then if, you know, if things are going wrong in your life, it's the devil, the devil trying to hold me back. God testing me. Well, maybe it's neither. Maybe you put in enough negative life equity that you're getting exactly what you work for. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got to take a, a, a good look at ourselves because we all going to do some things that are right and some things that are wrong. But if you, uh, but you know if you are duplicitous. And, and having a double mind, and as the, old, the Indians used to say, talking with a forked tongue, you know, uh, spoke about that before in, in, in a reference of biblically, you know, a man with two, with two minds is, 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 is evil in all his ways or, or, or bad in all his ways because he can't really focus. On, he, he, he have to, I got to get it right this way. I got to get it right this way. I got to have it both ways. So if you're one of the people that got to have it both ways, you think that's cute? Cool. No problem. 
Do you. But the other part of this culture is nobody has to rock with a duplicitous person. See, even duplicitous people in this duplicitous culture do not want to be around do other duplicitous people in this duplicitous culture. So if that's the case, if you're on the other side of that equation, you should already know what it is. But we're so duplicitous as a culture, we want to be duplicitous as people, but then don't want to deal with being exiled and isolated and having some type of scarlet letter put upon us, which is ridiculous. But I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.